Very sick. What are you doing? You're not going to find a Phoebus in here. Dude, I've been looking for three days, okay? I know I can find one, okay? I want a Malatic. I can do this. Okay, you're not going to find one here. Why? Look around! What? You're on Route 118, not Route 119. Are you kidding me, dude? I've been here for three freaking days! What the... Oh, I... I... Okay, the Phoebus Factor. In Pokemon Emerald, you can find Wild Phoebus in six random tiles on Route 119. This is the first thing you need to know about Phoebus. You find them on Route 119. It always changes depending on the trendy saying or something like that that goes on in the di in Didford Town here. It changes every day, so if you change it and you spend all day looking for Phoebus, you can't go back the next day because... I mean, you can, but it, it'll be shuffled again. Cause every time the frame, the f phrase, every time the phrase changes, it shuffles up all the tiles that you find Phoebus in. Anyway, go to Fort Tree, go down, and you'll be in Route, route One Nineteen. And see all that water? Phoebus are randomly in the water. Six random tiles, and you never know which one it is. Here, I'm just put a Max Pell on. Yeah, I've been rare can uh, cloning rare candies. Oh, I'm already wearing one. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Just keep going down. Okay, if you look up how to find Phoebus in Wikipedia, it, it'll tell you in this house right here with all the wingle in it. Uh, to the left of it, in this patch of big patch of water, you can find Phoebus in this water with a old rod and that's what I was doing I did that the other day and it only took me like 40 45 minutes to find a Phoebus and uh, I caught quite a bit of them this spot I found was right here it's not gonna matter for you though because it always changes anyway just take a look at this it's not that big of not that much of water it really won't take that long you can just find them using the old rod or you could just uh, use super rod or something but I suggest old rod because all you can run to It'd be Magikarp, Phoebus, and Tentacle if you just use an old rod. It's really not that hard. Just look at this one right here. This one thing of water right here, that really cuts it down, doesn't it? Instead of the whole entire Route 119, no, just, just search right here. And eventually you'll find one. Most of the time, you can find Phoebus. Just use an old rod. Okay, so once you finally get your Phoebus and everything, you know, just breed them, get a good one with good IVs and everything, and uh, when you're ready to EV train one, you have to get them to Milotic. The only way you can get a Milotic is maxing out a Phoebus's beauty. Okay, once you go, once the, uh, ah, uh, what's his name? Berry Master comes, uh, comes to Lilith Cove, you can, uh, blend berries with them. And he rocks with the berries. I mean, look at these. Goldberry, Goldberry, Goldberry. And notice that little thing right there? It's just dry. Dry enhances beauty, just in case you didn't know that. Um,. And once you have a maxed Phoebus, max beauty, then uh, it'll evolve. So I'm just start with this 58 right here. Use Chesto berries um, on your Phoebus. Use Chesto berries to blend with the blair, the, the berry master, because Chesto berries work really good. Look at that. Look how much the beauty went. And that was just by one. I'm gonna go with another level 58 gold berry. Got my Eevee Train Dragonite up there. I uh, took me like four days to get him because I was breeding for like four days and I finally got a really good one. I'll show him to you in here in a second. Just keep giving him these berries. I probably have enough for two Phoebus right here. Look at that beauty. Just keep going up. Phoebus doesn't necessarily evolve on a certain level or anything, but evolves by beauty, one of the most annoying Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Alright, now then, never, uh, I don't know why I did that, never max beauty, just level them up, but I'm lazy, so I'm just, he's rare candy. And, Phoebus will evolve.
Now, let's talk about Milotic. Milotic is one of the most beautiful Pokemon, and you only get him from Phoebus. Pretty good stats. I mean, good HP, good defense, and good special defense. A very good strategy with the Milotic would be, since he only pretty much has two weaknesses, Grass and Electric, uh, use one as a tank, basically. Um, this would be a good moveset. Surf, Ice Beam, Hypnosis, and uh, Recover. Okay, now this isn't one I'm EV training. This is not even the right nature. Get one with bold nature. Do the whole, uh, the whole thing with Ditto and the Everstone to get you good nature. This is not the one. I'm just going to turn the power off. Alright, look at that. I have Hypnosis. You're like, well, how'd you do that? Well, in Pokemon Fire Red, or Leaf Green, you can trade over a Poliwhirl. Yeah, Poliwhirl, and they know Hypnosis. Poliwhirl can breed with Phoebus, thus getting a, uh, Phoebus with Hypnosis. So, Surf, Hypnosis, Ice Beam, and uh, Recover. That's a very good moveset. And uh, I really know what I'm talking about because just take a look at my Dragonite. 31 IVs, 31 IVs, 31 IVs. And, yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm going to show you all the Phoebus I have. I have all those. Yeah, I just want to show you that. All right. So yeah, I still need to get one. Um, give them 252 uh, EVs and defense, a Milotic, and give them 100 EVs and special attack and 100 EVs, special defense, and 58 EVs in HP. So 252 defense, 100 and 100 for special attack and special defense, and 58 for HP. Godly Phoebus. Some are... Breeded. This is what I'm going to breed with. That's why I marked them. Alright, anyway. Yeah. So, pretty much co covers everything. Uh, it takes patience. Just keep trying. It might take a while, but you can get it. Alright, that's Fever Factor. Yeah, that's my Exam. I just wanted to show you. Alright. I got it for you. Behind the camera, or use the remote or something. Oh, no. I'll, I'll just edit it out. Alright, alright, alright. Anyway, back to Malatic. Um... When you, when you migrate to Diamond and Pearl, keep the same moveset. Don't change Ice Beam or Surf or something for Dragon Pulse. Uh, Ice Beam still works great. And more type coverage, it's still good. Um, if you don't have a Poly Roll or something, to, like Fire Red or Leaf Green, uh, to trade over. A Toxic is a great move. Uh, it's a great substitute for uh, Hypnosis. Especially in the Battle Tower, you can use uh, Toxic Double Team. It still works great, but not in competitive play where... Double team is not allowed. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, if you want to change its EV spread over on a little bit, the one I gave with uh, 252 defense, 100 special attack, 100 special defense, and 50 in HP still works great and everything. But uh, if you want to give it more defensive, you can have 31 uh, IVs in HP and then do 252 in both defenses and like 6 in special attack or 6 in HP, whatever you want. If you need a physical ball or special ball, Malotic is great for both. So. Uh, yeah, another thing is uh, about Flame Orb or uh, the Toxic Orb. Uh, it, it activates Marvel Scale. It's not really recommended to do this, but it will work great if you can really work uh, pull it off in a in a good way. Like not not activate it in like a Sandstorm team or something like that, where it stall. It would just kill itself because of the damage from it. But anyway, I don't recommend doing that. I recommend leftovers or Lumberry. Well, well, not Lumberry, but Actually, you know, whatever you want. Just leftovers work great. Uh, anyway, that's about it on Milotic. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. See you guys next time. Well, I'll turn it off. You can really just get behind.